The government shut down our church. 15 days to slow the spread is what we were told. But months later, the doors were still closed. We met outside, social distanced, and lifted our hands in praise to God. While singing, those same hands were placed in handcuffs. Churches all across America apparently aren't essential. My wife's dreams of owning her own small business was shattered when rioters burned it to the ground. All across the nation, thousands of small business owners just like her lost their livelihoods and ability to support their families and their communities because law and order apparently is not essential. After being quarantined at home for months, our two little girls were so excited to get back to school, but the local school board decided to keep the doors closed. My daughters were devastated. I never dreamed my kids learning in a classroom would be considered non-essential. They call them peaceful protests, but my good friend was killed in cold blood during one. He was a police officer and he died protecting our community against rioters. Lawlessness has jeopardized the lives of law enforcement all across the nation and has disrupted the peace in our communities. Defunding our police departments makes his life non-essential. His wife and kids would disagree. The news media tells me every day the number of lives that have been lost due to COVID. But what they continually fail to mention are the thousands taken every day by abortion. While our churches were forcibly closed, abortion clinics were open, and the lives of babies in the womb were stolen because they were considered non-essential. Our community, our families, and our Christian way of life are under attack. Slowly and subtly, our rights are being stripped. The government thinks those rights are non-essential. They promised peace and safety in exchange. But is that reality? They came after these families in these small towns. How long do you think it will be before they come to yours? Or are they already there? Charlie Kirk, Kirk Cameron, Dinesh D'Souza, Sissy Graham Lynch, Pastor Jack Hibbs, Pastor Rob McCoy, Frontline Dr. Dan Erickson, and David Harris Jr. want you to join them as they examine the reality of our nation's current circumstances and share the one and only solution that quickly and simply solves the problems facing America. Featuring special music and worship from Danny Gokey, together we will reclaim the essential Christian freedoms our nation was founded on. Don't miss this one-time event airing on October 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Go to nonessential.live and learn more about this free event.